Interpersonal therapy is a type of therapy that is geared towards addressing mental health related problems like depression by zooming into the current relationships that a client has. The reason why the focus of this type of therapy is a client's relationship is that it operates on the idea that relationships can impact a person's mental well-being. Here are seven interpersonal therapy techniques which you can incorporate into your practice. Interpersonal inventory. This technique will have you and the client identify the most important relationships in the client's life. Through this technique, therapists will learn how their clients view their significant relationships, including how they play a role in their mental well-being. Communication analysis. This technique will have the therapist discuss communication styles. The therapist will try to probe the client about potential conflicts they have with certain people. Once conflicts have been identified, the therapist can discuss communication styles and approaches to help clients build effective communication. Role playing. The therapist and client can work together by having the client take on the role of a certain person in the client's life. The client will talk to the therapist as if they were a certain person in their life. They can say what they want to say and how they want to say it. Imagery rescripting. This technique is a little touchy considering that this will have the client relive or think about certain stressful or upsetting situations that they had to go through. In the context of this type of therapy, it has to be stressful or upsetting situations involving a significant person in their life. Grief analysis. This technique will likely involve worksheets since this is all about helping people work through the grief and loss of a loved one. This is the therapist's chance to find out how grief and loss has affected their client's life and their relationships. Guided imagery. The client will imagine themselves in a certain environment have them describe this environment in detail, like what they see, what the atmosphere is like, and who are the people around them. The therapist and client will work to develop a scene, and the client will discuss what they are like whenever they are in this kind of environment, especially with how they interact with others. Social skills training. This is a type of therapy technique that has a therapist teach their client important social skills like assertiveness, empathy, active listening, and conflict resolution. This is so the client can learn how to adjust themselves when interacting with certain people. Earlier, we mentioned a technique that may require worksheets. With this section, we'd like to suggest five interpersonal therapy worksheets that might help you make progress with your client's therapy. Firstly, interpersonal relationship worksheet. If they're having a hard time articulating themselves through conversation, then issuing this worksheet might do the trick. Some people can express themselves better through writing activities. The worksheet will have prompts such as Indicate 5 to 10 of the most significant people in your life. What are these people like? What do you like about these people? What do you not like about these people? Next is a goodbye letter worksheet. This worksheet is best issued to a client dealing with grief and loss, whether it's something they've only been dealing with recently or for a long time. This can help them work through their grief by accepting the loss and letting go of a dearly departed. The closeness circle worksheet. This worksheet is similar to the interpersonal relationships worksheet because the client will identify all the significant relationships in their life, but this time they will arrange them in a circle. The circle has several layers. The closer the layer is to the center, the closer the people are to the client. Wanting to be heard worksheet. This worksheet will have the client write down when would be the best time to have certain conversations with certain people, times when they don't listen to others or accept a no, times when I feel statements should be used, and times when compromises should be accepted, and how finding better ways to communicate can help them. Lastly is the Interpersonal Parenting Tips Worksheet. This is similar to the Wanting to be Heard Worksheet, but only in the sense that they will be listing down the best times to approach their child for certain conversations. To learn more about interpersonal therapy techniques, check out our guide on our Care Patron platform, which you can find in the link in the description. Or check out our guides playlist for more videos like this. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.